Hey guys! Toothless will be joining us for this video, just because why the hell not. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing the dating tag. I don't know if I just made this up because I haven't seen it anywhere ever. I've seen the boyfriend tag, but pff, pff, who needs those, right? Boyfriend tags. Basically, these are just questions about myself personally and how I feel about certain aspects of dating and what I feel is important in a relationship and all that crap. Probably not gonna be as funny as all my other videos because I know how absolutely hilarious I am. Wow. <laughs> so let's just jump right in then. What do you see yourself doing in five or 10 years? Hopefully what I'm doing now. <laughs> I like what I'm doing now. I don't want to stop what I'm doing now. I'll hopefully still have a steady job and be moved out of my mother's house. <laughs> I guess that's what I see myself doing in five to ten years. Same thing I'm doing now. Except maybe not these videos. <laughs> Have you ever had to make an imp Wow. Have you ever had to make an important decision that affected the direction of your life? Absolutely. I had to make the decision whether or not I wanted to stay in college after the first semester, and I decided not to. If I hadn't decided not to stay in college, I wouldn't have had this wonderful job and I wouldn't have met so many incredible people. Yay. <laughs> and I'm sorry my nose is yellow. I did a show today and that's embarrassing. <laughs> what has been an embarrassing moment for you? Hey! Speaking of embarrassing moments, when is not an embarrassing moment for me? Seriously, I'm holding a, a stuffed animal in a video about dating and relationships. <laughs> I'm sure guys find that highly attractive. <laughs> oh god, I, it's so hard to pick just one. <laughs> embarrassing moment. I don't think I've ever had an embarrassing moment, like, with a boyfriend. <laughs> Is that what it's asking me? I don't really know how to answer that question. <laughs> Are you okay that I still might have feelings for my ex? That's a hard question for me to answer because unless you had a really bad falling out with your ex, I feel like you'll always have some sort of emotional attachment to them. I mean, that's just how I feel personally, but it doesn't necessarily bother me as long as you don't act on it. <laughs> what is your definition of emotional intimacy? That's a really good question. I like these questions. <laughs> My definition of emotional intimacy would be communication is so important and just the, uh, the element of friendship and not just um, sexual crap and all that connection with the person feeling comfortable with the person not being afraid to be yourself with that person stuff like that what is your good bad habit i have been told i'm a really good listener so that's my good habit my bad habit is that i am a very messy person and my room is an example of that <laughs> describe yourself in three words humble <laughs> optimistic and kind oh that's so sweet what would you do to leave an impression on a person on your first date? Be yourself. What else can you do? I would just be myself. That's really the only the thing you should do. Do you usually follow your heart or your head? Heart. All the time. 100%. Does that make me a sap? Does that make me a loser? <laughs> nope. But it's true. It's true. Do you think the past matters in a relationship? I don't know anymore. I don't think so. Because people change all constantly, all the time. And the person you are yesterday isn't the person you are today. Do you believe in soulmates? Absolutely. I believe you can even have more than one soulmate. I believe that soulmates can also be someone that you just connect with really well and don't have romantic feelings for. What is your dream job? Well, that's easy. I want to be on Broadway. Yeah, good luck, Emily. <laughs> it can happen. It can happen. What do you think about unfaithfulness in a relationship? If you're gonna be unfaithful, you shouldn't be dating. <laughs> if you're... If you feel like you won't be faithful with the person you are with, you should not be with that person. That's how I feel. People will think differently, but that's my personal take on it. Do you think love at first sight is possible? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I believe you can be attracted to somebody at first sight, but definitely not love, no. What are some things about you that you take pride in? <laughs> this is where my humbleness comes in. <laughs> no, um, I really take pride in how far I've come in the past six months, how much myself as a person 
has grown and developed and uh, has become stronger, meaning more mentally strong. Do you think it's important to learn any form of a performing art? Absolutely! I'm kind of biased because I've been acting for, oh god, god knows how long. <laughs> That's just something I always like to do, and singing and all that stuff. I think it's, it's always a plus. <laughs> There's never any harm in being interested in those kind of things. I don't think so, anyway. But I'm biased. Again. <laughs> Is money more important to you or are relationships you share with people? Relationships with people, absolutely. Absolutely. Is that even a question? How? What? What is your earliest memory? My earliest memory is me throwing stuffed animals down the stairs and I was two years old at the time. They were tumbling and I liked the way it looked and I wanted to try it so I literally got down on all fours and willingly tumbled down the stairs. No regrets. If you could change something about your life, what would it be? Honestly, I would like not to have divorced parents. Wow, that got depressing really fast. It's just annoying. It's annoying having to go back and forth and forgetting things there, needing to remember to bring certain things here and there, and just going back and forth is obnoxious. What are your views on an... What are your views on open relationships? I don't understand them. I really don't. If you... If, why? Why? Why date at all? I don't know, I don't understand. Like, you say you're with one person, but you're seeing other people? I don't... I don't really get it, but, you know... To each their own, I guess. If you had a previous relationship, why did you break up? The original reason was because they were going away to school. But after that, mm, things got a little messy. <laughs> Are you still friends with that person? No, I am not friends with that person. Unfortunately. We were very good friends before that. What are your thoughts right now about spending the rest of your life with just one partner? 100% I want to spend with just one person. I would not like to get remarried and remarried I'm remarried. <laughs> that would suck. All right, guys, that was it for that video. That was quick <laughs> and not funny. I apologize, but it was interesting. I liked those questions. I enjoyed answering those questions. And I'm glad I had my support of this stuffed animal with me. <laughs> if you guys liked the video, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, comment if you want to see more. Subscribe if you like my face. <laughs> Also, comment on what you guys want to see from me because I'm running out of ideas and I don't want to get boring. So, that would be helpful. <laughs> I guess that's it for now. Bye.